So today I went to the Lego store and I heard that there were some castle figures at the build a minifigure station. So my wife and I, we went there nice and early to see what we could get. Now, some days prior to this, I heard about the castle minifigures and I was intrigued. Now, I didn't see them. I didn't really want to. I wanted to be surprised and to have that feeling of discovery of seeing something new and exciting for the first time. I'm finding that as I get older, I want more surprises in my life, more new things that I can get excited about and really geek out over. And this was one of those things. Alas, twas not meant to be. As soon as we got there, the only thing that was left was some gray helmets and some black falcon shields now. Okay, okay, that's not entirely true. They did have some sort of wizard magician pieces, but come on, they weren't knights or forest people, which was what I was hoping for. Uh, so I go to one of the workers there and I ask him, hey, I was hoping for some castle figs and it looks like you guys are out. You know, just some small talk, maybe get a hint of a restock or something like that. Now, I only had to say the word castle and the dude just goes at it. And he just tells me how an army of people had come into the store as soon as they heard that these figures were available and just filled box after box after box of all the castle minifigures that they could find. Now, since there was no limit to how many minifigures you could buy, they just cleaned the place out. So, no, I wasn't getting any figures today or anytime soon. Now, is this a common thing for the build of minifigure stations? Because I'll be honest, I know very little about it. And apparently there's a really big following for this part of the hobby, which is exciting to learn, but obviously tricky to navigate. So any advice would be greatly appreciated. In any case, my wife felt pity for me and uh, as a consolation prize bought me a little something that would scratch that castle itch. And that's what you see right here. Uh, I know it's a bit early to be buying stuff because of the August releases that are just around the corner, but you know, I have a bad habit of not saying no to Lego. So what are you going to do? But anyway, before I show you what's inside, um, take a look at the packaging here. Uh, it seems like the bagging that Lego is using now is also reflecting that environmentally friendly image that they're trying to go for and uh, hey there's even a little sticker of the uh, music store guy from assembly square so that's pretty cool let me know if you've seen these new bags at, at the stores where you guys live so uh let's open it up and see what we got so as you can see this is the three-in-one castle set i already have the medieval blacksmith and i am going to get the new lionized castle but i think this would be a great addition to the collection and hey it has knights Yay! but seriously i do love this set and i'm super excited to open it up build it take some pictures and all that fun stuff also because my wife loves brick heads i did get her a little something as well and uh, I was super excited about this. This is the Buzz Lightyear, which has been out of stock for quite some time. So I'm super glad it was back and we were able to get it for her. So yeah, overall a little disappointing at the start, but it actually turned out to be a great day. I mean, hey, I got a couple of Lego sets. Well, one for me and one for my wife, but I still got a pretty good set. But what about you? What was your most disappointing Lego shopping experience? Shout it out in the comments below and uh, I'll see you there. Over and out.